So there's currently a unique opportunity in WoW because until November 8th, you're able to stack up 85% increased experience gains to level up any character you want to level up extremely quickly. And make sure to stick around until later in the video because I also want to go over a pretty unique leveling method that will allow you to not only level up extremely quickly while being half AFK, but will also allow you to earn some of the new event cosmetics. Now I have gone over this method to stacking up 85% increased experience in one of my previous videos, so I'd recommend checking that out if you want a little bit more information on this, and I primarily just want to get through all of the ways to stack this up pretty quickly. So starting off, you have the 10% increased experience that you'll have for the entirety of the 20th anniversary event, then you have another 10% from the Blessing of the Bronze Dragonflight. This is a daily quest you can pick up in the 20th anniversary fairgrounds, where you just have to fill up a meter doing any 20th anniversary content. A really good way to do this is to go pick up the pet mirror at the pet area. That'll turn you into one of your battle pets. And then there's some baskets scattered around the event area. When you go into one of these baskets, it'll just fill up that meter in only a couple minutes. So you just go turn into one of your pets, sit in one of those baskets, and you'll have it completed in a couple minutes. And then you turn it in and you'll have 12 hours of that additional 10% increased experience. And then you have the biggest increase to your experience, which is the 25% from the Warband Mentor's Achievement. So every time you get a character up to level 80, you get another stack of 5% increased experience for all characters on your account up to 25%. So once you get five characters to level 80, you have a 25% increase to experience all the way up to level 80, no matter what you're doing. Then for some of the more conditional increases, you have the 10% increased experience from War Mode. This doesn't affect everything, but it will affect affect some of the stuff in the farm we're going over later in this video. So questing, killing enemies, even doing things like gathering will give you increased experience with war mode on. Then you have the Hollows End increased experience, which is another 10%. You go outside any of the major cities or you go into your garrison. There's a bonfire you go click on. That'll give you 10% increased experience for two hours. Now that buff does seem to be able to drop off when you die. So just keep that in mind, but it's free to go back and reapply that buff. And Hollows End lasts until November 8th. So this is the cutoff of being able to stack up 85% increased experience because once that ends, it'll go back down to 75%. And then you also have the Dark Moon Fair experience buff, which is another 10%. And the Dark Moon Fair is going to be active for three different points during the 20th anniversary. The first one, which is the one that's currently active, goes until November 9th. The second one will be December 1st to December 7th. And the third will be January 5th to January 11th. So again, the only time both Hollow's End and Dark Moon Fair are going to be active at the same time is until November 8th. So after November 8th, you won't be able to get the full 85% increase experience. Then on top of all of that, you can also get the Drought of 10 Lands, which is a potion you could pick up from BFA content. Now this potion is only able to be used for characters level 50 and below. So once you're above that point, you can't get the 10% increase experience from this potion. But when you're below that point, another 10% increased experience that's pretty easy to get will help you get up to that point much more quickly. So if you're keeping track, that's an 85% increase to all of your experience gains, but you can't get all of these boosts through all of the content throughout the game because you get a 10% for more mode, so you have to be in the open world for that. Hollow's End will end on November 8th, so you'll lose another 10%. Dark Moon Fair ends on November 9th, so that'll lose another 10% until December 1st when it comes back. And if you're above level 50, you'll also lose a 10% from the drought of 10 lands. But if you're trying to level up a character, say level 1 to 80, you'll be able to get that 85% increased experience boost for a good chunk of that total leveling. And I have a method that's very unique. Now, if you just want to level as quickly and easily as humanly possible, you're just going to be queuing for time walking dungeons like normal. You won't be getting a handful of these experience buffs, but you get so much experience for completing time walking dungeons that it really doesn't matter. If you want to do some other methods that are much more unique and a bit more AFK, I have a method that will allow you to do that while also being able to earn a bunch of the new cosmetics from the Hollow's End event. Now this method is specifically going to be for the new earthen allied race because one of their passive racial effects is called a wide-eyed wanderer. And what this does is when you gain experience for experience, 
exploring a location, you gain 200% additional experience. So this is the experience you get for just discovering another portion of the map. So it's usually grayed out once you go to it and discover it, you'll get some amount of experience. On an earthen, this is increased by 200%. Now, if you really optimize farming like this, specifically on earthen, and just running around discovering the map, this is actually one of the fastest ways to currently level up in the game, even before stacking up all of these experience buffs. And because you're basically just flying around discovering all the locations, you can do this half AFK, and if you want to make it even easier and even a bit more AFK, you can download the distinct earthen sky riding add-on, and basically what this does is this just tracks all of the locations you have yet to have discovered and gives you an arrow of where to fly next. So that'll make it much easier and you basically just follow the arrow around while flying and it'll take you exactly where you need to go to discover every new location. And that can be really good leveling by itself, but you can also add in looting all of the candy buckets during the Hollows End event. And if you've never done this before, there's these candy buckets in basically every inn and settlement in the game, no matter what continent you're on. So all of the expansions also have this, but there'll just be these buckets there that you go click on and you complete them. You get a bag that has some random Halloween events, but it'll also have a handful of the currency you need to spend at the Hollows End vendor. Every time you go complete one of these candy buckets, you will also get a chunk of experience. And that chunk of experience you get seems to be a decent amount. I was getting around like 10% back before you could get all of the 85% increased experience buffs and all of these buffs seem to work on these candy buckets. So you'll probably be at like maybe up to 12% of a level every candy bucket, at least at the lower levels. The experience does continue to increase. So it should stay pretty similar for the majority of your levels. So you'll be flying around on your earth and getting a bunch of experience for discovering everywhere you're flying and you'll just be going candy bucket to candy bucket which will be giving you a bunch of experience and the bags which you open up and it'll give you some of the hollows and currency that then you can go spend at the hollows and vendor to get some of the new cosmetics and get any of the pets you may want to buy. Now if you also want to make this portion a lot easier you can download the candy buckets add-on that shows all of the candy bucket locations on your map and you can also click on any of these candy buckets and it'll put a waypoint there which will also also have an arrow showing you to that location so you can much more easily find every candy bucket. And with the mixture of both of these, all you're going to be doing is just flying around, discovering everything, picking up all these candy buckets, leveling extremely quickly while also getting a bunch of hollows and currency. And if you're going to be doing this on a new earthen character, just keep in mind that after you get out of the starting area for the earthen, you'll only be level 11. So I'd recommend going and picking up all of your experience boost, but then you have to go get to level 20 before you go back to your main city and turn on war mode. So level 11 up to 20, you'll be able to have 75% increased experience if you also use a potion. Then once you hit that level 20, go turn on war mode and then go back out. You'll have the full 85% increased experience. Now, another disclaimer is it seems that some of the XP boosts don't work with the exploration XP you get, but from what I've seen from testing, it's only the war mode increase experience that doesn't work specifically with the exploration experience, but the candy buckets do get the increased experience from having war mode on. So just keep that in mind, the exploration experience specifically doesn't get all 85% of the increased experience, but you're leveling up so ridiculously quickly that that really isn't going to matter. But that's all I want to go over. So thanks for watching.